Hey, it's Kevin Topol with JK on the Run, and today I want to show you something really interesting about the Asus EPC. Something, a, a feature that is, I just haven't seen on a mobile computing device before. It's that amazing to me. Now, I want to preface this by saying what gave me the idea to do this was just a video that I saw from our good friend ThoughtFix last week. What he did is, as soon as he received his Asus EPC, he took it out of the box, and time the entire process of getting it out of the box, unwrapping it, setting it up, and getting on the web. He literally did that in minutes. It was just amazing. So what I'm going to do is actually show you the factory restore process from the SSD drive, because I've done it with the DVD drive. It takes about five minutes that way. But holy cow, using the flash drive and the hidden partition there, I'm telling you, I've had Windows mobile phones that have taken longer to hard reset. Let me turn it over to the EPC and show you. Here you can see we've got the device up and running, and I'm going to borrow a little trick from Dan who used his stopwatch on the iPhone, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is. I'm going to actually shut the unit down. It's going to ask me if it's, if it's okay to proceed. I'm going to say yes. Let me zoom in a little bit. And the unit is now off, so I'm going to power it on. And in order to get to that hidden partition to do the factory restore, you want to press the F9 key. When you do that, you'll get a menu. As you can see here, it says normal boot, perform disk scan, and restore factory settings. And obviously that's the, unit, the menu choice I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that at the same time I actually start the stopwatch over here. So, we'll do that and go. Okay, it says it's uncompressing Linux, already done. Do I really want to do this? I type yes. It's now formatting the user partition. It says please wait. All right, press enter to reboot. Holy cow, we're moving right along here. The unit's going to reboot. As it does, you can see we're only about 18, 19 seconds in. Starting up. And the sun just came out. We got a little bit of glare there. <laughs> and you can see the desktop environment showing up. We've got a license agreement. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to say next. The keyboard type is English. I'm going to say next. My full name. I state your name. I'm just kidding. Password. Whoops. And I've got it set to log me in automatically. Next. Time zone, date, local time, all look good. Next. You have completed the first boot wizard. C click back to make changes or click to finish. The computer is being configured. We'll start in a few moments. Please do not turn it off. Let's take a look at our stopwatch. We're around a minute 15. We're rebooting. Whoops. And when this is all done, we're going to talk about why this is of any use, actually. And there we go. I'm going to stop it. I missed the button. About a minute and a half. And at this point, I could choose my wireless network and get online. I could also change one or two lines in a script. And I could start using my 3G modem if I had it with me. So I could pretty much be up and running in two, three minutes from a complete factory restore. Now, of course, I know what people are thinking. I, I can hear you. I hear you, people. And you're saying, well, why would you do that? Why is this so fascinating? Because really, how often do I really factory restore my device? I don't want to be doing that every day. I agree with you. But the fact of the matter is that if you do need to do this, it is ex amazingly quick with Linux and at least with this build of Linux and the way the SSD drive works, this whole solution to factory store is very quick, much quicker than any other device I've ever used. Uh, I've done this on various Windows desktops, laptops, etc. And you're going to spend a minimum of 20 minutes and that's I think being generous. Now, here's another thought, another twist on this whole thing and why I was so amazed and when I started thinking about this, as a mobile device user this could be very handy and here's why. If I'm out on the road and I've got an issue with my device, with the EPC for example, Yes, I, I would have to restore perhaps, um, I could do that in one to two minutes, 
And then the question becomes, well, what about all my data? What about all my applications? You're not talking about that. That's right. And that's because this actual solution has me strongly considering even more of a move to the cloud. More online web applications, more places to store my data online. It, it just adds another layer to think about here when you're discussing, do I want local data and local apps or do I want to be using the web? If you have everything on the web, this is actually a pretty compelling solution to get yourself back up and running in the event of a system meltdown. So something to think about. And again, it's not going to be for most people. A lot of people are still tied to the desktop. Uh, people slowly making a move to the cloud. I'm doing more and more of it each day as each day passes because the services are becoming much more compelling to use. So something to think about, but more amazingly, it's just it just blows me away how quick you can factory restore this thing using the SSD drive. Wow, amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Take care.